Hi everybody, Martika here with Martika J Makes, here to give you another review. You guys, I am really, really excited about this make. But before we get started, let me welcome you. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome. And if you have not subscribed, you guys, go ahead and just hit the subscribe button. Or if you just wanna check it out, just stay to the end and then go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the end okay but by all means definitely give this video a thumbs up so let's talk about simplicity 8469 right here okay I'm gonna show this to you but don't go looking for this in the stores you guys because this is an out of print pattern now let me tell you what got me to this pattern Sew It Academy, okay? As you know, I am part of the Sew It Academy with uh, Mimi G, uh, who also has other amazing instructors like Brittany J. Jones and a couple of others. So, um, this was one of the lessons that we did, okay? And let me say, when I saw the orange coat, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be fire right there. We're gonna do that. However, when it came to this, I had to remember where I live, okay? <laughs> I live in Kansas, you guys. And let me tell you, it gets cold here. Not only cold, but it gets windy. The wind has no respect for any human being at all, even in the cold, okay? So I knew right off the bat, after I was like, yeah, let me do that, but I'm going to have to adjust those sleeves. I knew this wasn't a business for living in Kansas because when that wind hit, all the air is going to come straight up, okay? So let me get into the details and tell you what I ended up doing, okay? So I went by, of course, my bus measurement, which is a right under a 42. So I always just say that my bus measurement is a 42, okay? So According to the finish measurements, which I love about Simplicity, always have the finish measurements on the back. Very seldom do I find that it don't have the finish measurement that I need. But uh, back here, I will just read it to you. If I would have went by my bus measurement, there is one that is 42 and a half. And that would have made me cut out a size 14, okay? Through trial and error, when dealing with uh, tightly woven or things with no stretch, just depending on the pattern, like I said, trial and error, okay, for myself, I knew that I needed some room in this coat, depending on what I was probably wearing it underneath it, maybe cardigan and a top, maybe a lightweight sweater, um, maybe a t-shirt, whatever. I needed some room to be able to wear this coat comfortably. So I knew immediately I needed to bump it up a size, okay? But if it turned out just way too big, at least I had the option of, of um, adjusting it and taking it in some, okay? But the thing about it, if you cut that too small, I'm sorry, you're out of luck unless you have the skills of adding more material in it and making it really look good. I don't have those skills, okay? <laughs> I do not have those skills yet. So um, I ended up cutting out a size 16 and that is uh, for a bus measurement, 44 and a half, okay? So that gave me about two and a half more inches more than what I needed. So I knew that that would be probably perfect for what I needed. So that's what I did. However, when going to the sleeve, I almost decided to uh, steer away a, a little bit from the lesson, still following the instructions, but I almost decided to make view A right there, simply because I did like the sleeves. Um, the coat still goes down to the knee. This particular one stops about right there. But here's another thing. You have to remember your height when dealing with patterns. Just about everything that I sew, I'm only 5'2", you guys. So I knew that this 
she's a lot taller than me, obviously. I knew that this coat would come down a little further on me to give me about that length right above the knee that I needed. So I knew I did not need to make view A to get that length or I would have had to end up taking it up, but just go ahead and make, uh, what is that, view B, I believe? Yeah, view B. Um, and just let that length fall where it may on me. So I did that, but however, I did take the sleeves from view A, those sleeve endings there. So as far as the sleeve go, I cut everything out for view B uh, for the body of the coat. But when it came to the sleeves, I cut out everything for view A. And I just went on with the instructions. This is a fully lined coat. I've never done anything like this before, okay? That is what really got me excited. So when I finished this coat, you guys, this is how it turned out. How amazing. You, I'm just... I'm just going to let you look at that for a while while I tell you about the fabric. So this was learning to sew with wools. I've never sewn with wool before and I completely fell in love with sewing with a wool fabric. It was so easy, easy. It was just, I mean, everything about it, it didn't get caught up in my machine. Um, it stayed together while I sold. It didn't slip and slide all over the place, you guys. It was amazing. And where I got my fabric from, because wool is pretty pricey, you guys. Um, I, of course, went in Joann's. I went in Hobby Lobby. Um, I looked online, and um, I was actually getting ready to order some wool off of uh, Etsy because it was like the least expensive. I could find. Um, it was running, it would probably had ran me about $15 a yard, something like that. And I knew that I needed at least like three and a half yards. So my daughter, uh, she came to me and she said, mama, why don't you go uh, to that uh, recycling place that recycles fabric? Um, that's not far from my house. So you guys, if you have these little shops in your uh, towns, uh, this this shop uh, that's that's not close to me is called Fabric Recycles. You may have something like that. It's just a place that where people donate fabrics, fabrics that they're not using, fabrics that they've had for a long time, maybe fabrics that they've inherited, you know, from a loved one who's passed away or whatever, and they decided they don't need it or don't want it for whatever the reason. People just donate this fabric and places like this, what they do, um, they know their fabrics. They're able to do different tests and things to figure out what they are, what type of fabric it is. And then they they may have to cut off the jagged remnant or uh, edges or something like that to make it a really nice, you know, full piece of fabric. And they measure it and they sell it and you get it at a deep discount. You guys, I got this wool four yards for like 45 bucks at this place. That was a steal, seriously. And when I saw it, I was like, that's it right there. I love the colors. Uh, as you can see, it was like a blue, a blue was in it, green was in it, black was in it. Very, very easy. So my other dilemma was the lining uh, because this did kind of have a little pattern to it. I didn't quite know if I wanted to do a, a printed lining or not, but I said, you know what? Let's go outside the box. So I looked around that same store and you guys, I found this beautiful floral lining to put inside it. It kind of, it wasn't an exact match, but it definitely played off of the colors of the actual fabric itself. So I was very pleased with that. So had my fabric and everything. So I started cutting out everything and just following the instructions um, in this particular for this particular pattern. And let me tell you guys, if you are not a part of the Sewit Academy, you need to take a look at it. There is a free trial if you just want to check it out and you can click on the link in my description box. It is my affiliate link. So just letting you know right off the bat, you can click on that link and you can start your free trial and just, you know, check it out, see what it's about, see how you like it is for beginners as well as advanced sewers. If you want to up your skills in any way, I there is nothing that I haven't seen that I don't want to uh, dig in. There's something for everybody, whether you want to learn how to make 
make uh, work with uh, special fabrics for special occasions, whether you want to learn how to work with knits, denim, uh, whatever, whether you want to learn how to sketch, there's everything in it. It's your fashion design school online, seriously, and it's very affordable. So in making this coat, it just, it took me to another level. I'm ready to move on and up my skills even more uh, because this was very, very, very exciting to make. So yeah, um, like I said, this is an out of print pattern, but I wanted to definitely tell you about it. Uh, the ease of making this, I would say uh, is definitely not a beginner pattern, okay? You definitely need some skills to work on this coat. Uh, even with Mimi G's instructions, you, you definitely want to um, uh, have have a few skills under your belt. So if you don't have those skills, like I said, check out the Sew It Academy. But uh, following her instructions, learning how to do this full lining, uh, learning how to turn this thing out and just see the art of what you can do with your hands, it just blows your mind. So yeah, this is my first wool, full lined coat and it won't be my last. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, you guys. Have a great one and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.